So in this playlist, we've been speaking about what influences the physical properties like boiling point, melting point, and vapor pressure of an organic compound. And we said these things listed here affect or influence the physical properties. And in this lesson, we'll be speaking about the number of carbon atoms in the main chain or chain length. So the first thing that you need to know, and I give you a proper full summary later on in the video, so you don't want to miss that. But the first thing you need to know is the longer the chain length, so the more carbons in the main chain, higher boiling point, higher melting point, lower vapor pressure. But why? And you need to know why. Take a look at ethane versus hexane. So ethane obviously has two carbons in the main chain. Hexane, six carbons in the main chain. Which of these would have a higher boiling point? I hope you're all saying hexane. The reason why is because its chain length is longer. But what does a longer chain length mean to boiling point? How do they connect? So how it works is the longer the chain length, the more carbons there are in the main chain, the greater the surface area of this molecule. Look at that surface area. Big, long, much bigger surface area than this short little thing over here. Okay? Bigger surface area bigger molecular mass as well, which means that although they both have the same type of intermolecular forces, we discussed this in the previous video, alkanes both, all types of alkanes have only London forces between their molecules. So both of these have only London forces, but because hexane has a longer chain length, more carbons, bigger surface area, bigger molecular mass, it has more London forces. And if you have more London forces, you will have stronger London forces. And then the more or the stronger your London forces are, the more energy you will need to overcome the intermolecular forces. And therefore, the more energy you need to overcome the intermolecular forces, the higher your boiling point, the higher your melting point, and the lower your vapor pressure. So it is this flow of logic that you will use to answer questions about chain length. You will say that if you have a longer chain length, this means bigger surface area, more intermolecular forces, stronger intermolecular forces, more energy required to overcome the intermolecular forces, and therefore, and you'll state your conclusion. If you do not say any of these boiling points, if you miss one of them, you will lose marks. So here's an example. Which of the following compounds will have the highest melting point? And explain. So we actually need to use the recipe to answer questions like this. I discussed the recipe in the previous two videos, so go check that out if you missed it. But you must always, always, always state the intermolecular forces of each. So you'll start off by telling me that both pentane and methane are alkanes. So because they belong to the same homologous series, they have the same functional groups, they both have only London forces between their molecules. You must mention this as a first step. You have to. Then you say, but even though they have the same type of intermolecular forces, pentane has a longer chain length, so greater surface area and therefore molecular mass, and therefore it has more, pentane has more London forces because if you have a bigger surface area, you have more London forces, therefore stronger London forces, therefore they need, pentane needs more energy to overcome the intermolecular forces than methane, therefore the melting point of pentane is higher. And that's all that you really need to know about chain length. That's really the only way they can ask it. If you want to look at the next thing that affects physical properties, check out the next video right now. I'll see you there. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Bye, everyone.